Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel and welcome to my final stage of the Viviscal for Men. Last stop, it's been six months since I started Viviscal. Six months since I've started taking the hair growth supplements and I've been using the shampoo for the last, I'd say the last three months on and off. Not every day, but I have certainly been using it several times a week. Now let's start off right from the start when I started this back in March. So this is March 2020. So March 2020, I was really noticing a lot of hair fall. Um, I was noticing that when I was washing my hair, I was noticing lots of single hairs in the shower, in the bath, in the sink. When I was styling my hair, it would be in my hands. Um, really quite alarming. Um, there was lots of things going on um, in the background, sort of health-wise, pressure of a new job, um, lots of sort of health-related things, family things and concerns around uh, one of my family members with a long-term condition. So lots of worry, lots of stress going on. So I put it down necessarily to that and I thought that naturally it would just pass over. But if anything, it didn't. The problem with my hair didn't at all. Um, my diet can sometimes be up and down. Um, I'm never, I've never ever been a big eater. Um, so very often I probably don't eat enough. And when I get stressed, um, eating for me can sometimes fall in the background and I have to be reminded to eat. Um, so it's really, really important, as we all know, for the optimum health to eat really, really well, um, lots of fruits and vegetables, and to have little stress, control that stress, know when to switch off from worrying, of course, finding that real optimum balance across everything. So of course, that's really, really difficult. So that was the main reason why I started taking Viviscal. Now I have taken Viviscal uh, before and I had taken it for seven months and this was probably around back in I want to say 2015 and I seen some really really great benefits for that but of course back then I didn't have my channel so what I really wanted to do is I wanted to capture every step of the way on my channel which is of course about the ups and downs the good and bad in life and very often I have a huge interest in hair and hair care and styling and of course we all want to look good so I thought this time I would start my journey and I would capture it all on my YouTube channel so first of all we talked about Viviscal then we done the one month review, then we done the three month review, and now we're doing the six month review. But I have done two flash updates of my Viviscal journey amongst there as well. So we've got a real mix and a real capture of everything, to be quite honest with you. There's been a few negatives, there's been a few things which we've worked through, but majority is fantastic. And absolutely on the whole, a real honest approach and a real sort of very very open what's been a concern of mine has really been put out there um how my hair has felt the condition of my scalp the condition of my hair the skin um quality of my skin the improvements which i have seen is all there so if you haven't seen those parts or those steps or all those sort of um milestones along the way of my viviscal journey then i urge you do take a look on my channel because as i say we do cover everything now you may have picked up there, I did say the word negative, and I'm absolutely honest. Honesty, integrity is huge to me, absolutely. There is nothing worse if you are sat at home and you have got problematic hair or you've started thinning or your hair is coming out more than what you'd like and listening to somebody who is not truthful and is not honest. When I first started taking Viviscal, I had forgot from my previous time of taking Viviscal that actually there are a few things at the start which can annoy you and you do have to grim and bear them. Now, it doesn't happen to everybody, but it did happen to me. Now, first of all, Viviscal is really, really easy to get into your routine. It's a tablet in the morning. So for me, I always take the tablets at breakfast, just when I wake up. Um, and then the last tablet I take in the evening or I take with my evening meal or last thing at night. Now, when I say first thing in the morning, of course, do your morning routine, fresh out of the bathroom. Then when you're having sort of morning coffee or breakfast, then take it then. And then, of course, in the evening, always take it with food or just a bite of something or sort of like a drink lasting at night. I do find it's really, really easy. It's really, really easy to really incorporate that into your day and certainly into your diet. It doesn't make you feel bloated. It doesn't make you feel nauseous. It doesn't make you feel like, well, you've had a really big meal. It doesn't have any negative effects on the body, on the stomach or anything like that at all. Very, very often I've tried supplements and things in the past and 
you name it, it can cause it. So, for example, bloatedness. Sometimes taking a high intake of vitamins can make you feel quite full, can make you feel quite nauseous, can make you feel like you don't want to eat anything else. Sometimes they can repeat on you, give you indigestion. Um, this has all happened to me in the past. Um, and negative things which we just all could do without. If we're trying to really um, boost the body and really boost the hair and the scalp, and of course have that real optimum, the best hair we can have, the last thing we want is those negative things, which sadly some supplements do. Viviscal fantastically does not do that to you. So Viviscal is really, really soft, gentle on the system. We've established that, absolutely amazing. When I first started it, it took me I would say to see the first benefits, I would say around the third to fourth week, I want to say sort of the latter part of the second week, but I think the, 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 the biggest benefit I started to see was on the third week, I think, um, was around seeing that less hair fall. I'd say two, two and a half weeks, I started to see a reduction in hair fall. So for example, when I was touching my hair, when I was styling my hair, if you're, if you're like myself and you use waxes, putties in your hair, or you're using hair gel or high strength free spray when you touch your hair and you style your hands through your hair um, to get that great style, very often you can be left with single hairs on your hand. Before I started my journey with Viviscal, I had lots, lots in the sink when I washed my hair, lots when I dried my hair, lots. So it was quite worrying. So it was about the, the second to second and a half, certainly into the third week, I seen a very slow and gradual reduction in the amount of hair loss I was seeing. So of course, my theory, the less hair you see, the more is on your scalp. So straight away, that anchoring process of Viviscal, really re-sort of generating, re-getting that body going with all those nutrients and that health in the scalp. So straight away, I noticed that, which was fantastic. Then moving on, a negative. Of course, there's always a negative. For me, it was slight breakouts in my scalp along my hairline here. Now, there is something which doing research online, a couple of people have had that as well. But for me, it was really annoying. Um, up and just in behind my hairline, not huge, but just behind my hairline, I had like these smallish sort of quite painful sort of pimples just behind the hairline. And I had that just slightly in here as well. Um, and I say after about two weeks, maybe another two and a half weeks, that settled down. And then I would say in about another two weeks after that, it completely disappeared and it wasn't a problem for me at all. Now, I know that's Viviscal because I've never, ever in my life suffered with uh, problematic skin. I've never suffered with sort of acne, if you want to call it that. Pimple spots, I've never had anything like that at all. But through taking that, I did find that it did bring me out in a bit of a breakout around my hairline. No around my jawline or anything, um, but around here, um, I did kind of feel that. And just slightly behind my hairline, I felt that as well. Moving on. So, of course, you have to put up with the slight negatives. Of course, you have to. Because if you keep pushing through that, then there is so much more positives to come. Now, with Viviscal, there are so many benefits to have. But of course, you're probably wanting to know, when did I start to feel the thicker feeling hair? Well, this is quite difficult to approach because my hair is very different from when I first started. And I have to, it was a shock actually to me because yes, I actually um, used Viviscal before, but how your hair works and of course that cycle of your hair after you've stopped taking something and you've enjoyed those great benefits of course weeks pass months pass then you don't take it anymore because you think your hair is fantastic then of course just through daily life or what we do with our hair as men and women um what we choose to style our hair with, the stress. If you're studying, you've started a new job, your diet, you may become worried, stressed, anxious. Then of course the hair can start falling back. So when I started taking Viviscal, I didn't necessarily think I had a huge problem. I just thought that that was probably typical for my hair that I'd fallen into this pattern and I was starting to lose this sort of more hair than what I would like. So it was quite apparent to me when we reached the three month mark, that I could start to see smallish hairs in my hairline. Now, I thought to myself, I'm not gonna sit on YouTube and say that this is absolutely categorically from Viviscal, because of course, hair goes through a natural cycle, the resting phase, the growing phase, and then of course, rests, falls, it's a constant cycle. 
What I didn't want to sit down and say on my channel is categorically down to Viviscal. I wanted enough evidence. So if you've seen my three month mark, and I believe it's in there, it could be the flash update. Have a look all the way through my channel. Why not? You will see that I attached a picture, which I will attach. Me stood in a doorway capturing, and I've got darker hair there, and me capturing the small hairs in my hairline. And we're going to be attaching that. So I will attach that. So please, this is absolutely honest. Here, you will see this picture. Now this here is the small hairs which have started to grow through, puncturing through the scalp, that natural process of that thicker feeling hair in the roots here. So I'm washing my hair, I can feel sort of small prickly hairs. Given a couple more weeks, they are growing through. This is what I found. So really do study this picture and it's truthful, it's honest, it's not fake. This is through Viviscal. Then if we move on, Weeks sort of passed and what I noticed is that when I'm styling my hair, those sort of smaller short hairs throughout my scalp, and to be quite honest with you, I can't categorically pinpoint where they are through. I think it was just naturally my hair was get, is getting, still getting, fuller, thicker. My hair is fine. It's not thin, thin, thin. But it is thin and it's fine, um, but I have a lot of it. Now, you might well think that don't be absolutely ridiculous, Bradley. You haven't got fine or you haven't got thin hair. At the end, what we're going to do, we're going to break down this really nice voluptuous style. And I'm going to show you exactly what I deal with. That's right. Me, for the first time ever, and I never ever do this, I'm going to brush through my hair and I'm going to show you. So stay tuned for that because that's what we're going to be doing. The next thing what I really want you to get thinking about is your skin quality. So we have we have discussed there was a negative at the start of my journey. After about halfway through, I noticed when we got to about the fourth month that I really noticed, and I want to say maybe fourth, maybe fifth month, gradually moving into that sort of latter period of my Viviscal journey, the strength was coming back in my hair. And I say this because I never really thought I had an issue. But before when I started Viviscal, if I would be a bit rough with my hair, or if I'd be a bit rough with the hairspray or the wax or however I was styling my hair, hairs would just sort of come away in my hands, not hugely, um, single hairs, more of them what I'd like to see. And it was at this stage where I really started to notice that the strength of my hair was improving. So I always say that anchoring process, that anchoring of the hair, anchoring to the scalp, I could be a little bit more sort of not not sort of full on, not sort of aggressive with my hair, but I didn't have to be, I was noticing I didn't have to be so, oh, oh, so gentle and so sort of fragile with my hair. It was starting to take this new characteristic of actually having character, actually having strength. Um, and of course, yes, every now and again, I was seeing one or two hairs, but I wasn't seeing nowhere near the amount of what I was seeing when I was styling my hair. So for example, let's just recap. So first of all, gradually up until about the um, I'd say up until about the third month mark, really huge dramatic reduction in the amount of hair I was seeing washing my hair and styling my hair. Then again, I was really seeing this strength boost in my hair after that, around the four, five month mark, definitely more apparent to me in the fifth month and still happening now. Um, hair was getting really stronger, so I wasn't having to be so soft, so gentle, hair wasn't being so downy in my hairline. I could actually really get in there with some wax and sort of hairspray and really sort of get in and style my hair. And I could really be a lot more confident about it because I knew my hair was feeling stronger. Then what I'd always wanted to do is try something, of course, with health problems and things going on in the background. I wanted to really have a bit of a difference in my hair. So I had a chat with the lady who cuts my hair um, and styles my hair when I get it done. Um, and that's getting the sides done every two weeks. And then the top every six to eight weeks, a bit of a trim. And then sometimes I'd go a bit longer and have then a bit more cut off. I said I'd like something uh, a little bit different. We discussed the option of having lighter hair, uh, so highlights throughout my hair. Now throughout this period as well, where we've had a lot of um, hot weather throughout the summer, dare I say it, in the UK, but we did have a, a spell where it was quite warm. And being out in the sun and things, my hair really, really warmed up. I think that's about the third month. And that happens yearly. But what happens each year is I get it cut short or I get it cut into so it cuts the warmth out. But of course, because of lockdown and everything this year, what we've had with the coronavirus pandemic, um, 
I wanted something which I would be able to change. So because of that strength in my hair, I was quite confident to actually say, OK, let's try something different. So I chose something very soft on my hair, very soft um, on my scalp. I chose a semi-permanent colour and I coloured my hair darker. Really, really loved that. Absolutely loved it. And it captured the small, it caught the small hairs in my hairline which were growing back through. And sort of, if you remember rightly, when I first started Viviscar, I wanted the temples of my hair thicker. This area I wanted thicker. And that sort of has happened. And I noticed that when I then put the darker colour on my hair. Of course, got my amazing mum to help me with that. Because when I looked through and I parted my hair, I could see that it almost filled in. So this was about the roundabout, I want to say, you have to absolutely, to be an absolute date, you have to have a look through on my channel. But I believe it was around about the four month mark. Four month mark, maybe five. They'll take, give or take there a couple, um, two weeks either side. Um, and I really had noticed that my hair was getting fuller, which was great. But to my disappointment, that real lovely 1910s, 1920s swept back look with a dyed colour washed out quickly, real, real quickly. So then I spoke to my hairdresser going back to that story and I wanted to try something different. So we talked about lighter hair, but of course, straight away I thought to myself, oh, bleach, mm, high lift bleach. My hair is really, really healthy. I don't want to be counterintuitive. I don't want to be going back at my hair and really, really damaging it at all. I don't want that. Um, so then, of course, after that, I thought to myself, well, my hair is stronger. So I'm feeling more confident with my hair now. It's stronger. We're at about the four month, five month mark, but it was really apparent my hair was getting stronger. And I had my hair highlighted. Very small, fine highlights throughout my hair. Fantastic. Done by a professional. Absolutely. Ding, ding, ding. Amazing. Hair quality, real steel, super soft, super shiny. I thought never in a million years would I be able to do this. Another thing which I know why Viviscal has made my hair thicker is because then without kind of telling me what my hairdresser was doing to cut the bulk out of my hair was chipping into it, thinning it, which sort of is taking thinning shears, cutting through the hair. And this is not just once, this is three times. So really cutting the hair. And if you don't know what that is, that's a length of hair, which is keeping the length, but inside so the hair stands up or gives it texture or choppiness. Cutting in here, cutting in here, cutting in here with thinning shears. So you get finer hairs, or shorter hairs here, sorry, and then longer again, longer again, then you've got your original length. So it really does boost the hair and give it much more character as well. Never in a million years would I be having that done sort of every kind of, four to six weeks and even having my sides done every two weeks she's going in and she's using it again I'm thinking I'm not going to have any hair left but do you know what Viviscal has made that much of a difference that that can actually happen now I know that sounds absolutely a little bit too good to be true try it for yourself and do you know what throw in the Viviscal shampoo if you if you're a man and you're watching this this stuff is great because this here, Full Force Fortifying Shampoo, cleanses whilst leaving hair looking thicker and fuller. Anatel Complex blended with biotin, keratin, zinc to promote healthier looking hair. And you know what? This complements the range really, really well. It leaves the hair with great amounts of texture, but soft at the same time. And it boosts the hair standing it away from the scalp. So it really, really is amazing. And it's a really lovely sort of complimentary shampoo. It's 10 pounds, 250 mils. It lasts and lasts and lasts. And when you're taking your tablets, this box looks super light, by the way, because there's nothing in it because I've finished my six months. I've done two of these. So when you're doing that, I've been able to have my hair uh, chipped into, thinned in, whatever you want to thinned out, whatever you want to call it, several times, and it's made a huge, huge difference. So then, of course, I've noticed that strength. I've been able to do things like highlighted my hair. I've been able to have my hair cut into a lot more. I've noticed my skin. I have a bit more of a shine, a bit more of a sort of. Um, I don't want to use glow because that's really feminine. I want a health. There's a there's a real nice shine health to my hair um, and my skin. That's what we're talking about, my skin. But there is. My hair feels more healthier. My hair feels more sleeker, more sort of lifted, boosted. I don't know how much more I can say how much Viviscal has changed my hair. But here's the next thing what we're going to do. 
We're going to have a brief look through Viviscal because if you want to go through that, I'm going to go through that with you. And then we're going to start breaking down the areas, um, brushing through this really cool, if you don't mind me saying, style which I've got going on. OK, Viviscal, men's hair growth. Sorry, the reflection here of the light. So men's hair growth, hair program. So most clinically researched brand. So if you're questioning that, there is over 25 years of research gone into Viviscal. If that isn't enough for you, hopefully with the review and the journey what I've done for six months will at least get you wanting to find out what Viviscal can do for your hair and your scalp. Because it certainly would do me. And it just makes me want to think if there's any more problems in the future of my hair, I've got Viviscal to turn back on and I've, I can pick that up and I can start boosting my hair again. So the most clinically researched brand, Hair Growth Supplement, helps maintain normal hair healthy hair growth from within. Scientifically formulated Amino Mar C marine protein complex. Okay, let's tell you a little bit about it. So I'm going to add something here as well, which is Viviscal supports healthy hair growth in four stages. So over a three to six month period. So stage one, Hair follicles are supported through constant intake of protein and nutrients in each tablet. Stronger nails are often the first sign that Viviscal is working. OK, and that's at around about just before the three month mark. Stage two after the three month mark is thin and wispy hair is strengthened. Look out for baby hairs appearing. And then as we count to, I would say, around about the four, five month mark, stage three, Breakage and thinning continue to decline, encouraging normal, healthy hair growth. And then stage four is after and at the six month mark is hair is looking noticeably strong and healthy, which I noticed at around about the five, six month mark. Factors of which can affect healthy hair growth. Hereditary. So, for example, in your family, if you're having um, you're noticing sort of nail pattern baldness, that sort of thinning at the temples, that sort of patch at the back, maybe the top of your hair is getting a bit thinner. Maybe you've got overall reduction of hair thinning or hair loss. Viviscal. Literally try Viviscal. Stress. If you're super stressed, you're noticing changes in your hair. Viviscal. Medication. Medication can be so, so tough and real, real awful on our bodies at times. Viviscal. Poor nutrition. I've said it myself. I am really, really typical of not eating when I'm supposed to um, and eating enough. Of course, even if we're not eating the right things, Viviscal. OK, over styling. We can all be guilty of that. Viviscal. Bleaching, I've just done that. Done in moderation can absolutely boost your style. But if you're somebody which is super frying your hair on a regular basis, Viviscal is going to really, really boost your hair health and your scalp and look after everything. So you can keep enjoying that in moderation. And then, of course, heat treatments and over dyeing. Two things as well, which can be great for boosting style and can be great for boosting thin hair or fine hair. So using heat to really style and get that lift and that volume in the hair. And of course, dyeing your hair can give that whole new lease of life to your hair, which is really, really great when you're battling thin hair or if you're battling unhealthy hair. So, of course, Viviscal can help in that direction as well. Um, Viviscal. Marine Protein Complex Amino Mar C. That's the hero product in Viviscal, which is going to be helping healthy scalp and healthy hair. The next thing, vitamin C, zinc, flaxseed extract, horsetail extract. And that is all in Viviscal men's growth supplements. Men's and women's supplements are catered differently. Um, there are different benefits, which I think is really fantastic because, of course, your journey is personalised to you. Um, and... Do you know what? I just think that there is there is something in Viviscal for everybody. So, for example, if you're worried about your hair thinning, fantastic. If your hair is brittle, Viviscal is going to be great for that because it's going to be boosting the health of your hair. If you've got problematic scalp or if you're worried about your scalp, Viviscal is going to be amazing at really looking after that for you. Um, or if you just find that you're losing your hair, Viviscal is going to really help boost what you've got. And um, prevention, bearing in mind, is always better than cure. Throw the shampoo in and really, really amazing and Hopefully, hopefully that will work for you. Now, I say hopefully because hair loss is a very, very individual thing. Now, Viviscal has over 25 years of research in there. It's worked for me. Will it work in the same way for you? It may take longer to see results. It may take shorter to see results. You could be quicker to see results than me. If in that horrible, horrible instance that it doesn't work for you and you get to the six month mark and your hair is exactly the same, 
you know what? What you can take away from it is, yes, OK, that you've invested a large amount in your hair, but with the marine protein complex, the vitamin C, the zinc, the flaxseed extract and the horsetail extract, you would have boosted the hair of your house. If you haven't seen new hair grow through, you would have categorically boosted your health and your hair health. Do not give up hope. There are so many things out there that we can do for our hair. Always, whether that be just a simple change of style, whether that be the change of diet, whether that be taking up more exercise or whether that just be taking a moment for a few minutes a day, concentrating on the scalp, really invigorating. Take a moment to massage your scalp when you're using your shampoo, when you're using a Viviscal shampoo. Take a moment to really invigorate and massage those temples, the crown of your head and the top of your hair. Really get that blood flow pumping so you know that those ingredients are making their way through to the scalp and really getting into those hair follicles as well. I wish you the very, very best of luck with your Viviscal journey. I have seen so, so many more benefits. And you know what? It will be something I will continue to do in the future to take Viviscal um, as a maintenance uh, sort of of my hair. Will it be something I will continue? I will stop at some stage. It won't be something which I will keep capturing on YouTube. And that is because coming up now, I'm being very honest, I have had to stop my Viviscal today because I have had my pre-assessment for the health problems which I'm going through. If you have um, followed that on my journey, thank you very, very much. Bless you. Um, and I'm now coming up to two operations, so I won't actually be able to take Viviscal. So it may well be something I will come back to. I would certainly come back to it as a maintenance, sort of, as I said, to maintain the benefit which I've gained from from this or you never know I may have a look at other different things for my hair as well um, but certainly Viviscal is very very dear to my heart and it will always stay in my go-to sort of product range of looking after and keeping hair healthy thick full so I absolutely ultimately 1000% recommend it now let's get down to something which I've been waiting to do so you see a really really cool hopefully you think it's a really really cool hairstyle with Viviscal so Let's break it down. So my trusty Damon brush, start at the back and let's brush through it. So Viviscal for me has been really, really amazing. It's a really personal journey. So I wish you the, all the luck in the world for everything. Now, an area for me which I wanted my hair thicker was, of course, for men, it would be the crown. For me, for some reason, it was just in slightly. That area there seemed to be quite fine. Um, but I've certainly noticed a difference. Now, bearing in mind this room where it's got a little bit darker um, with the curtains behind me still awake, it, uh, awake, open, um, is very, very bright. So you may see scalp more than what I would like. But ultimately, you'll see that it has made a difference. It certainly has made a difference. So I'm just going to give my hair a bit of a brush through. So forgive me for this, doing it on air, but I've used <laughs> I've used hairspray today, so it's a bit of an issue getting through. So you can see how light my hair is there as well, can't you? So look, and you can see that my hair, I have got no issue than showing you in here, because to me that is quite a tight parting right the way down the front tight do you see what I mean you can see the direction of the hair I haven't got thick hair do you know what I mean if you're watching this you're thinking I've got really fine hair yeah my hair's not thick my hair is not thick but when I put my fingers in here I can feel spikiness and you can see that I mean okay I've styled my hair today but it's not flat it's not thin it's not thinning yeah okay I've got fine hair but it's not thinning and Viviscal has helped my hair so much wherever I go. Can you can you see this? My hair would have never. And that's the thing. It reminded me that Viviscal is great and it does boost what you've got. And if you've tried it before, go back to it. If you're noticing changes in your hair, go back to it because I forgot the benefits of what I had from when I used it back in 2015. Um, and I mean, I'm struggling to find my scalp. Look, and I had areas, if you watch back right when I started Viviscal, it was not my crown. And by the way, my crown is in here and I can see a tight line across here. I didn't have that because what happened, what happened to me is it was, you could see, you could see the line, but you could also see the, the hair each side a little bit thinner. So everything seems to have closed in here, moved back, 
And as you can see, I've got the hair. I mean, look, hopefully on here, you can see from when I have my hair highlighted, look how it's, it seems to have even. There, look. And that's what, three weeks? It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. That was another thing that it seems to have really made my hair grow at its real optimum growth, which is another bonus and something I absolutely I'm so pleased I've done this because I've just reminded myself that I wanted to cover that as well. So then if I move forward into an area which really worried me, because I remember once a few years back, I had my hair cut short and somebody actually mentioned to me that my scalp was a bit shiny in here. And I thought, great, thanks. But as you can see, it's not super thick, but it's much much thicker and as I move forward you can see that my scalp has got a tight part in it's not diffused so you can see my hair's got a tight part in and it's tight hair it's not like thinner up to here or thinner up to here so do you see what I mean what I'm trying to say it's got a tight part in hair either side of that part in which I've just combed whereas before it was sort of thinner a little bit down here and thinner up there it was sort of the density was thinner when I parted my hair it's so much thicker on this side so much thicker and if I, I mean look at that moving in here temples now it's difficult because the bright light here you can see I've got hair in my temples short growing okay look growing in here temples these bits of my hair are even thicker Hopefully, I'm getting through. I've got an area here, hair, short hair, short hair, which I know you can't necessarily see it, but hopefully with me doing that, you can see, you can see the hair growing through here. Move over. Can you see? Hair. I hope that helps. I really do. Now look. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you very much indeed for watching my Viviscal journey. Thank you so much to all my views. And if you've subscribed throughout my journey, thank you. Bless you. That's absolutely amazing. Um, something I have loved doing, something I have enjoyed doing. Um, and I can't thank you enough for following. And thank you very much for sharing this with me. Thank you for watching. And until next time, we will see you then. And give Viviscal a try. I know it's an investment but invest in yourself. Best wishes to you. And I really, really hope you see the success I have. Thanks very much. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye bye now.